Here in South Philly, at the intersection of 9th and Passyunk, there's a war waging. A cheesesteak war. Directly across the street from each other, it's Pat's versus Gino's. Pat's is the original cheesesteak. Gino's just looks so clean. You know, what can you say? In my professional culinary opinion, Pat's cheesesteaks are better. Gino's got a much better steak than Pat's. I like the orangeness of the restaurant. The orange makes you hungry. It makes me hungry. Over the orangeness. Makes you feel at home. Your home is orange? Well, yeah. Okay, so people got opinions about this. But let's talk to the two people who've got the most at stake. That was cheesy. What makes the perfect cheesesteak? Pat's makes the perfect cheesesteak. My father and my uncle started the business back in 1930. 25, 30 years later, everybody opened up steakhouses. Hi, I'm Joey Vento. I'm the owner of Gino Steaks down in the heart of South Philadelphia. I'm unbeatable. This is a class act here. There's another place across the street. You know about it? They serve cheesesteaks? When did they open? I come in in 1966 with six dollars. Six dollars, that's what I started with. He invented the steak, I perfected it. I kicked his rear end. Everybody in the world that opens a steakhouse comes down here and sees what we do. But then don't they go across the street and see what they do? I really don't care. Because he doesn't come in every day. He doesn't really work. People around here eat his steak, eats mine, and they like mine better. He's the king of steaks. That's what the well, sign says. All right. If your restaurant is I the king it. of cheesesteaks, what is Gino? The court jester. I gotta be the ace then, because the ace is higher than the king. He's got a sign over there that tells you how to order in this three-step phase. And I make a little mistake and the guy tells me to go to the back of the line. I've got two words for him and it's not gonna be happy birthday. All right, Speedy, what are you gonna do? Is it gonna be a cheese with or a cheese without? Come on, I don't have all day. You don't know what you want, go to the back of the line now. Next, who's next? You come up, come on, you get a steak. He'll have to go to the back. He's got a lot of flash. Yeah. A lot, he of does. a lot of flash. He can't afford the light bulbs. You don't come for flash here. If you want flash, go someplace else. Stop playing games, Frank. We're here for selling sandwiches, not flash. Put some lights up over there. What does flash taste like? Flash. Get some action. Well, he doesn't really like me because I didn't get any tattoos like he did. So those are real. Are you sure it's not henna? We don't, don't like, like tattoos. tattoos. We don't have light bulbs. But we, we like, like good, good cheese things. And that's what we got, got here. here. At Pat's. At Pat's. At Pat's. He never used to really clean the payment on a daily basis. If you look out there now, he's always got a guy out there cleaning. He bought a pressure washer, which I invented years ago. You invented the pressure washer? As far as cleaning the payments around here. Joey invented the pressure washer! Which one do the smart people like? Which one do the more American people like? Which one do the best looking people like? Smarter people who are hungry eat at Pat's. Our place is clean. Cleaner than Pat's. Our place is orange. Larger than Pat's. Did you notice the light bulb? We got more than Pat. At, at Gino's. Pat's. Yeah. Can I keep this? Yeah, you want to give it? When he sees this, he's gonna he's gonna, he's gonna shoot through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, it seems there's no love lost in the city of brotherly love. But I think I got room in my heart for both stakes. Well, your stomach. Brett and Link's cheesesteak, wit and cheese whiz. And a cheese whiz. Heck.